Is Vladimir Putin bluffing? Or is he really planning to launch some sort of invasion of Ukraine? He's done it before. Today, President Biden called the Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky to reassure him that the United States and European allies will have Ukraine's back should Russia attack. The call after Mr. Biden says he personally warned Putin of severe consequences and economic punishment, quoting now, like nothing he's ever seen, unquote, during a video meeting on Tuesday. Earlier this week, President Zelensky visited his frontline troops. He said he was confident that they could repel the Russians. But of course, some of his generals apparently know better. The New York Times reports Ukrainian commanders fear a Russian invasion would overwhelm them and that they believe they stand no hope unless they get major military help from the West. Satellite images show Russia has built up nearly 100,000 combat troops, tanks and artillery at key strategic points along the Ukrainian border. We'll hear from NBC's Richard Engel, who toured the trenches of eastern Ukraine. First, live to CNBC's senior White House correspondent Kayla Tausche on President Biden's call to President Zelensky. Kayla. Well, Shep, that 90-minute call described by the White House as warm served as a forum for President Biden to update President Zelensky on his calls with Russia and European allies and next steps that are going to be taken from here. In that call, President Biden expressed support for a diplomatic path to uphold Ukraine's sovereignty, according to a senior administration official, and reaffirmed U.S. security assistance, which Congress just increased to $300 million this year. Biden told Zelensky that his message to Mr. Putin was, one nation can't force another nation to change its border. Today, the State Department denying the U.S. pressured Ukraine to give up Russian-held territories. Absolutely not. Uh, there have uh, been absolutely uh, no deals cut. There have been no concessions made, no uh, such uh, elements even discussed. While Mr. Biden has ruled out unilateral U.S. military force, today he spoke to NATO's so-called eastern flank members, the arc of European countries closest to Russia, where the White House has pledged to bolster defenses. Mr. Biden described the buildup of Russian troops along Ukraine's border in recent weeks as worrying, but also bigger than Ukraine, with the region's entire stability hanging in the balance. So what does that mean for the possibility of Ukraine's joining NATO, as it's been asking for at least several months? Well, tonight, a senior administration official would only say that Mr. Biden expressed the view that when Ukraine is on the agenda, Ukraine is at the table.